Okay, so welcome everyone. Welcome to your channel, Efficient Corporates. And today we are back with a video with a Power Query Editor related video. And I can guarantee you that this video will help you save you a lot of time, especially if you are working with GSTR one JSON files. So let's start. So uh, if you are a GST practitioner or you have worked in GST, then you know that in the GSTR one JSON file, it has all the GSTR1 invoices which we have filed under the B2B category, under the B2C category and all the credit notes and debit notes which we have passed in the GSTR1. But it becomes very hectic to convert that JSON file into an Excel. And moreover, when you have a monthly JSON file for multiple GSTINs, it's a nightmare to convert all those manually one by one into an Excel file. So in the uh, in the today's video, we will be seeing how you can have all those JSON files into a single folder and you can convert all those JSON files into one consolidated Excel file for all the GSTNs combined. So yes, you heard it right. Without use of any Python code, without use of any macro, we will be using a simple Excel file and we will be converting JSON to Excel and at the same time merging all those Excel files as well. So let's start. Okay, so this is an Excel file which you can see and um, this Excel file is just like your normal XLSX files is there is no macro, nothing else. And what we need to do is we simply need to supply the uh, name of the folder in which that JSTR1 JSON files are kept. Like for example, in my case, I have kept all my JSTR1 JSON files into a single folder, this one. I'll do the test too. And these are the five uh, JSON files. So uh, JSON files can be any, you can, you can have like 15, 20, 100, 200 JSON files of multiple clients as well. It's not that you need to have a soft single client. So all these JSON files have been kept into the single uh, folder. So I'll just give the name of this folder, uh, which is test2. I'm doing it right here. So you can just copy this path. So as you path copy, control C by pressing to this and uh, in this, cell C10, in the C10 you have to like copy paste and press enter, okay. So one thing which you need to make sure before you use this tool is that uh, <clears throat> the name of the file should be gstin, the 15 digit gstin underscore the mm yyyyy. So basically two digits for month and four digits for y, uh, so for the year. So this is mandatory, you cannot have like four and two zero two one, you have to write zero four. Okay, because जो आपका month लेता है ये the file that are the text from your file name, so you have to be very accurate of which month GSTR one is this, and after this you can have any other details like R one and all those things which you ever you want to write. I just need that initial fifteen digits and the later on six digits. This should be in order. And step one, we have done the step one. Enter the folder path. Step two is go to the sheet main dashboard. And refresh the pivot table as simple as it sounds. You have this pivot table, and I will just press refresh. So when you are using it for the first time, it might be that uh, it uh, may take some time waiting for the query to be executed, connecting to the database source. So these uh, things might take uh, like a bit longer. But uh, once the connection is established, then yeah, they definitely can uh, use this very uh, easily, and it won't take much time. Okay. So uh, what uh, you, I'll just explain you a bit of dashboard what uh, it looks like. So if you have multiple GSTNs ka GSTR1 JSON apne dala in that folder. So what happens? It will list those all those GSTINs over here in the same way uh, fiscal year because the GSTR1 period is, is the calendar year like uh, January to December. But if you want for a particular uh, financial year, then you can have this uh, slicer being used for the financial year. You can have month-wise details like July, August, September, October, November, whichever months you want. And just uh, one period year is the which years, just uh, is basically calendar year. And uh, seat name is basically the three types of seat which we have, which is B2B, B2C and CDNRs. Now it has been loaded and now, yeah. You will see the, the, the data has been loaded into it. And now uh, the table is updated. Now, if you need, now uh, I have said that it will consolidate all the invoices. So what about those invoices? Where can we get all the invoices details? So since it's a pivot table, you can simply click on the totals column. Like if you want for the July, you can click on July, but if you want for the total consolidated, then you can click on this, double click on uh, the tax value and you get this complete pivot table 
uh, which has all your months GST one combined, like July, August, September, October, November, all everything is combined. It has your final invoice uh, value, date, invoice number, place of supply, reverse charge, whatever field GST one has, all those fields it has. Also the seat name, B2B, B2CS. The B2CS works like this. There's no invoice number. It simply has place of supply and uh, taxable value and rate, as you all know. And CDNR will have all the credit note details and debit note details, all these things. So <clears throat> in this way, you can just simply double click and you can have this. I let me delete. I let me show you again uh, by clicking on some different file. Now let's do the test one. It has some more uh, GST1 files. What I'll do, I'll do one thing. I'll uh, combine this test two files. I'll copy this and I will keep it over here as well. I think it's the same, same GST ends. Let me do for some different GST and oh, these are some heavy files. I'll do control C. I'll keep like all those files into a single folder, uh, multiple GSTNs as well. And now I'll click on this folder link, go to the writer, go to uh, this C10 and enter the path. Simply enter the path, press enter, go to the main dashboard and right click and refresh. Now it will again take some time, but now we have two GSTNs. So we should have two GSTNs name over here. Month will be different and uh, fiscal year may or may not be different. So let's see. So it is connecting to the data source. It will convert all those uh, JSON into uh, the Excel files and also combine it. So currently uh, this uh, dashboard, this Excel file will be available in the link given in the description. You can go and that's a Google Drive link. You can download the file into your system and you can then start using it. So look, within like within a minute, it uh, read all those JSON files and it gave me the figures. So you can see if I want to go to this DSTL, this is the figure. If I go to this JSON, this is the figure, but remove the filter. I'll remove the filter, then it give me the entire thing. 22, 23 is this one, 21, 22 is this one. And similarly for the calendar year, we can use this. For B2B, we can do this. So and so in this way, we can just plug and play and it's very easy to use. So this is how you can use this very simple GST1 JSON to Excel converter without any plugin, any software, any application, and without any limit. If I uh, double click to this uh, taxable value, you can see it's a big amount. And uh, you can see number of rows, it has no limit. There are like 15,000 rows. Sorry, not 15,000, like more than that. It's like 48,000 or sorry, it has 48,000 invoices. You can just see how large data it is and there is no limit to it. You can have like uh, nine lakhs or 10 lakhs row. The, the limit is the Excel's capacity. So in that way, it's a very handy tool and you can use this for converting your JSONs to Excel and also combining it. So let me stop setting over here and I hope you like the video and you will be uh, using this tool in your day-to-day uh, -to -day office work to make your uh, daily work more efficient and not only monotonous. And for any issues, you have these mail IDs over here. You can convert, you can mail me um, at this efficientcorporate.info at gmail.com and uh, I would be ready to help for any issues which you have. So yeah, so stay tuned, stay tuned for such more videos and we'll be coming with more such automation tools in the future. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.